2019 was a rough year for this channel because I noticed that a lot of videos were going down in views. I mean, the year previous, I used to get like 10K views every video. But if you look at the channel now from 2019, each video is sitting close to a thousand views or not even hitting a thousand at all. Maybe once in a blue moon, you'll see a video hit 2K if I'm lucky. But for the most part, a thousand has just been the standard, which I mean is, is good, but it's only a fraction of what my subscriber count is. And looking at my YouTube statistics, it seems as if people aren't clicking on the videos that I'm posting that or YouTube isn't delivering my videos to the people that are subscribed to me which I mean could also be the case because I've had a lot of people say that they never actually saw my videos I mean to be honest there has been a lot of fuckery on YouTube's end with the subscriber count in flux mysterious likes on videos disappearing the fact that if you try to type in my channel name you won't be able to find it because something else comes up aside from it even though YouTube obviously detects the name the way that it's spelled but it's not only YouTube's end it's also my end because back in 2018 I was a much more frequent uploader as opposed to 2019 because I took a lot of breaks like way more than I felt that I needed to like it wasn't on purpose it's just that a lot of family members were making a lot of plans that I was unaware of and I just kind of went along with it like the first month in 2019 I basically was non-existent on the channel and I didn't mean to take these breaks it's just that I had a lot of family members that would call me over to do a lot of things and I ended up having to miss out on a lot of editing time speaking of editing for those of you that don't remember at some point in 2019, I think it was early, my computer went kablooey. To be more specific, the liquid cooling pipes got pierced somehow and started leaking onto the graphics card, which, not good. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but this basically prevented me from doing gameplay videos on the channel. So for the longest time, I was doing nothing but commentary videos because I couldn't afford to replace the parts. And man, doing only commentary videos and trying to get a video out every day? <sighs> That was not fun. Like I like to do commentary videos, but I don't like to do them every fucking day. Trying to think of something to say every day is 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 not is not fun. Like how I used to have it back in 2018 was a couple of gameplay videos and then commentary video. A couple of gameplay videos and then a commentary video. I like to space it out so that I have more time to think about a subject that I want to talk about. So that when I make an argument, I don't sound like an idiot or try not to be anyway. But in 2019, I wasn't able to really pump out gameplay videos for the channel because my computer went kablooey. So I tried doing daily commentary videos, but I I really wasn't that consistent with it and on top of that i wasn't really able to talk about the content that got me to where i am now which is ready or not that content was basically non-existent for a while until fairly recently that is so yeah pretty much 2019 was a rough year for the channel personally i had a lot of fun i spent quite a bit of time with my family to give an example i spent like an entire month in hawaii i honestly have no idea as to how i actually got to get to hawaii as poor as i am but it was a very fun time i definitely enjoyed every Every time that I took a break, even though in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, well, I'm kind of neglecting my videos here. But I mean, they always say that you want to take a break and that sort of thing. And that's just kind of what 2019 was. I kept taking a lot of breaks. Not that I wanted to, but I was always told family comes first. And so I just took that and ran it into the end zone. Anytime that a family member would ask me to do something, I'd go and do it. I felt like I really cracked my bubble or safe space, I guess you would call it. And I got to experience a lot of things that I never thought that I would experience. I really became open to a lot of things and one of those things just so happened to be donations on patreon i was really scared when i first opened it because i was thinking at the time that my channel was just too tiny for anybody to want to donate to me like maybe when i'm a little bigger maybe 100k if i ever get there then maybe patreon would be okay or you know turn on the join button but the thing that really kind of pushed me over the edge was the fact that my computer went kablooey and i remember getting a text message on instagram of all places it was from a guy called Daniel Dupes. He basically said, man, I really like your videos. You really deserve more subs. And I'm just like, if I had a dollar for every time I heard that. <laughs> we went back and forth. And then he asked the question, do you think you're going to be able to play the alpha? And I'm just like, no, unfortunately, my PC isn't working right now. There's a couple of parts that I need to replace. And unfortunately, I just don't have the funding. Then he asked me if I had a Patreon. I was like, yeah, but I don't really advertise it because I just don't think that I'm, you know, big enough to advertise that. Then all of a sudden I received a donation from him through my email and I'm just like, oh my god. You just gave me a reason to talk about it. Thank you for the very generous donation. I'm very grateful. And I was honestly surprised that when I talked about it on the channel, I ended up getting a bunch of donations. Overall, the Patreon raised me about 405 bucks, I think it was, along with whatever donations that I got from PayPal. I combined that with about 400 of my own money. And at 100, I bought a, a new liquid cooler, a new graphics card, and a brand new case because the previous one was too tiny for me to actually fit the liquid cooling. I just wanted the cheaper version of a 
bigger one, but my roommate insisted that I got the one that actually lights up and I'm just like, it was $10 more, but it does look kind of cool. So I want to thank my amazing patrons and PayPalers and the ones that are no longer patrons for helping me out, getting my PC back on track so that I can actually pump out more videos. And that's actually what I want to do in 2020, just pump out more videos. I can't honestly thank my donators enough because they really helped me try to get my YouTube channel back on track. I just hope that if they stick around, I'll be able to get more things like a new mic and new headset because these things are just falling apart at this point. Like I'm literally <laughs> working with scraps. But yeah, despite my viewership, the subscriber count has been growing. I think it grew around 4,000 this year, which is pretty good. But honestly, the statistics show that it should have been a lot higher. But due to all of these like handicaps and getting hindered, that really negated my channel's growth, which I'm hoping to change that this year. Uh, games? Um, when it comes to like AAA games that I actually liked, I think a majority of them were basically single player games. Like my number one is Metro Exodus. Number two is The Outer Worlds, Control, and Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, and uh, Gears of War 5. Those are like the only games that I really liked when it comes to the AAA scene. When it comes to the indie scene, um, I think the only game that like really wowed me was just kind of like Escape from Tarkov. It was the one that I felt that I got really addicted to at least towards the end here. But aside from that, every other game I've just been playing like as usual, you know? I can't really talk about Ready or Not, so I mean, can't say if it wowed me or not. Ooh. Something that I feel that I need to do more, probably some more Hell That Loose content, because I used to cover it a lot, but then I stopped talking about it because I really wasn't able to play it. So I need to do some more of that. I mean, Hell Let Loose has really come a long way and I can really tell because I used to play back in the alpha. There's also a bunch of other games that I have on the waiting list that I really need to get to. Also very big, big shout out to the generous subscribers that gave me a lot of free games this year whether that be free or bought thank you i remember getting quite a bit of games for free this year but uh to name a few of the games that i got for free uh gtfo halo the master chief collection red dead redemption 2 a lot of very generous subscribers decided to get me those games thank you guys so much for that i honestly wanted a lot of these games but your boy doesn't have the funds to get every game and the funny thing about it is that i didn't actually ask anybody so i'm just like what the hell are you <laughs> Are you in my head? Like, how did you know that I wanted these? So again, thank you for generously giving me those games. It's honestly shocking how many people decided to, you know, send me free stuff when I feel like I kind of don't deserve it, but it's just, you know. So my new year's resolution is to be more consistent. I want to have at least one video out every day without sacrificing quality. That is the plan, but only time will tell if I'll be able to accomplish that. So I just want to know, how was your guys' new year's? Mine was, uh, I really didn't do too much. I did a lot more on Christmas than I did with new year's. Like I just kind of kicked back drink a lot of soda not good for me but yeah 2019 is out the door and 2020 is here what are your new year's resolutions was 2019 rough for you let me know down in the comments below be sure to comment like and share and you know do all that stuff if you're someone that wants to support me check out the patreon it really helps all the funding is most likely going to go towards the channel and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye